Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin. Welcome back to my channel, and this is episode 4 of Will It Lube. So in this video, I'm going to be putting mayonnaise in a 3x3 to see if it will lube or how it will affect its overall performance. Now this was a requested substance, and I'm really excited to try it, so without further ado, let's just get right into this video. Now before I start, I'm going to be doing a quick overview of this cube so you understand what it is like before I apply the lube. So for those of you who don't know, this is the Cyclone Boys Fabu 3x3. It is very loud and clacky turning, and it is just a very blocky puzzle. It is really unpleasant to turn, and my cube is pretty slow from the other lubes I put in, even after I cleaned it out. Its corner cutting is really bad, it barely does over a piece, and it's just a really bad cube in general. Now we will move on to the initial average of 5 before applying the lube, so that way I can compare my times to what I get at the end with the lube in the cube. Alright guys, so that's a 14.04 average of 5, which really is not that good for me, but this cube has had so many bad lubes in it that, I mean, I'm not surprised. Now that we have gotten the average of 5 out of the way, we can get to the part that you have all clicked on this video for. The mayonnaise. Alright, let's just get these out and out of the way. Alright, and what do you say? We put this stuff in the cube. Alright, here goes nothing. I think that's enough. Alright, let's just get that in there. Ooh, this is... A lot more messy than I thought. Let's just get that in there. Ooh, that's a lot more messy than I thought. Okay. Well, I think that's enough. That is really gross. Let's just get these pieces back in here. Oh, this is gross. I don't really like Manny as much. Ooh, that's what that slipped in really easily. Nice. Oh, look at that. That is juicy. Hopefully I came prepared. Let's just wipe this down a bit because I don't really want mayonnaise all over my fingers and I don't really want to get anything else messy. Alright, that's good enough. Let's start turning this. Now let's just break this into the cube and get some first turns in. Alright, here goes nothing. Okay. So, right off the bat, it's very luby on the outside, but, I mean, that's obvious. So, it is... A lot more buttery and a little bit faster. Actually, it's a lot faster. It has nice or controllable turning. I feel like it's going to get a little gummy soon, though. But honestly, not bad. It's a lot faster than it was before. And double turn down pretty good. So this really isn't bad. It's a lot smoother and buttery. And I just really like the turning on this. Alright, so now that I've let this cube sit a bit, and I've wiped it off a lot more, I'm going to give my final thoughts. So starting off with the outside of the cube, it is a lot slipperier than it was before. It is very over lubed. And now onto the turning. It is a lot quieter than it was before, so that's a huge plus. The clackiness and blockiness have completely disappeared, and it is has very buttery and smooth turning. It's a lot faster than it was before, but not as fast as the whipped cream made it. Um, but I feel like this will last a little longer since it is a lot thicker than the whipped cream. But yeah, it has very pleasant turning. And I just really like the solve on this now. Now really quick, the corner cutting is a little past a piece. Which is a lot better than it was before. And the double turns, it does it pretty easily. And a lot of times it goes a little over. So now without further ado, we will do the final average of 5. So I am really really liking the turning on this cube. But the one minus is that it is extremely hard to clean and it is very greasy on the outside. I've tried to wipe it down a whole bunch, but nothing really does much. The turning is still very buttery and smooth, and it is just a very pleasant cube to turn. Well, besides the greasiness that is. The cube is a lot quieter than it was before, and to be honest, the speed is lasting a lot longer from the mayonnaise than it did from the whipped cream. And this is probably due to the fact that whipped cream is a lot thinner and melts a lot faster than mayonnaise. And honestly, like, the smell isn't even that bad. I actually kind of like it. 
but still the greasiness on the outside of the cube just makes it so hard to grip and control the cube and that's just the one minus so this is my last solve and the cube still hasn't gotten gummy yet like i predicted it's just really amazing to turn and super satisfying Alright guys, so that was a 12.34 average of 5, which is about what I average now, and it is a little slower than the average I got with the whipped cream, but that's most likely due to the fact that the mayonnaise made it super greasy on the outside of the cube, and I couldn't clean it off no matter how many times I wiped it off. The greasiness from the mayonnaise on the outside of the cube made this cube extremely hard to grip and control when speed solving, but other than that, the mayonnaise had the same exact qualities as the whipped cream did. Because of this, I'm going to rate this lube, mayonnaise, an 8.5 out of 10. This still is a really great score, but I just wanted to note that if the mayonnaise did not make the cube so slippery as it did, I would give it a 9, which is the same score as the whipped cream. So I definitely recommend Cubicle Mayo for those of you who want your cube to be extremely fast, smooth, buttery, and very quiet, and also be extremely greasy on the outside. Anyways guys, that's gonna have to be all for this video. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, as well as turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on any cool new videos on my channel in the future. Make sure to share this video with everyone you know, and comment down below what other substance I should use to destroy my cube in the next episode of Will It Lube. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you all next time. Bye!